Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 256 of our grave tour of the famous series. In this episode, we return to Manila North Cemetery in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen interred in this part of Metro Manila. Come join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of an American politician who served as representative in U.S. Congress and as Governor General of Philippine Islands during U.S. occupation in early 20th century. Located at the southern side of the cemetery, we found the final resting place of Governor General F.B. Harrison. Francis Burton Harrison was born on the 18th December 1873 from New York, United States. He was an American politician that served in U.S. Congress and as Governor General of the Philippine Islands during American occupation. Harrison graduated from Yale College in 1895 and finished law at New York Law School in 1897. In 1898, Harrison joined U.S. Army and fought during Spanish-American War. F. V. Harrison was initially married in June 1900 to Mary Crocker, the daughter of California businessman Charles Frederick Crocker. And the couple had two daughters, Barbara, a publisher, and Virginia Randolph, who was crowned as Occidental Queen in the 1920 Manila Carnival Beauty Pageant. In 1903, Harrison ran under the Democratic Party and was elected in U.S. Congress representing New York, where he served from March 1903 to March 1905 and from March 1907 to September 1913. In September 1913, Harrison left U.S. Congress prior to the end of his term and accepted the appointment of then-U.S. President Woodrow Wilson as Governor General of the Philippine Islands. Harrison served as Governor General of Philippine Islands for more than seven years from October 1913 to March 1921. During his term, he advocated and supported the process of transfer of authority to Filipinos in the Philippine Islands to prepare for their independence. He also supervised the passage of Jones Act for the dissolution of Philippine Commission and Philippine Assembly into fully elected members of Philippine House of Representatives. During his term as Governor General of Philippine Islands, Harrison was one of the candidates for the Democratic Party nominations for the 1920 U.S. presidential election. He lost the nomination to Ohio Governor James Cox at the Democratic National Convention held in San Francisco in July of 1920. Governor Cox of Democratic Party eventually lost to Republican presidential candidate Warren G. Harding, who was proclaimed as the 29th U.S. President. In September of 1913, after his term as Governor General of Philippine Islands, Harrison moved and stayed in Scotland for the next 20 years 
until he was recalled to the Philippines in 1934 during the transition into a Commonwealth state to serve as its advisor. In 1935, he accepted and served as principal advisor to Manuel L. Quezon when he was elected as the first president of the Commonwealth. Harrison served as advisor to Quezon from November 1935 to August of 1936 and from May 1942 while the Commonwealth government was in exile in the United States during Japanese occupation. In 1936, Harrison expressed interest in acquiring Filipino citizenship but did not qualify from the requirements of naturalization law. However, President Quezon passed Commonwealth Act 79 allowing Harrison to acquire Filipino citizenship. After the war, Harrison remained in Manila and served in U.S. Army as Commissioner of Claims from November 1946 to February 1947. In 1951, Harrison moved to Spain and spent six years of his retirement years and in August 1957, three months before his death, he finally moved back to New Jersey in the United States.